cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tarana! All right, great Hello. day mga ka-ELS, mga ka-Earth and Life Science natin dyan. At sa lahat ng mga hashtag, mahusay na kabataan Pinoy at mga kapwa po namin guro, oras na para ihanda ang inyong puso at isipan sa panibagong linggo na puno ng aghamazing na pagkatuto. Dito lamang po yan sa Itulay on TV muli. Kasama po ninyo ang inyong Shooter Tony from Nova Liches High School, SDO Quezon City. Of course, with my partner, Shooter Jules, great day sa'yo. Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon, Chutor Tony, good afternoon everyone, 11, grade 11 and 12 learners, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. I'm Chutor so, Jules from Kaibiga High School, Calacan City. Mm -hmm. So for this week, Chutor Jules, ano bang ano natin, kailangan natin uh, aralin for this, ano, umaga, finale episode, yes, finale episode for this year, 2021, ayan. We will talk about organ system, sir. Uh oh, so we are now an organ system. So ano nga ba yung something interesting dito? So medyo jam-pack lang ating uh, session for this afternoon kasi marami tayong activities and kailangan natin i-discuss yung mga body systems so that we better get started. And before we do that, we would like to acknowledge, of course, and say thank you sa ating DepEd Region 4A for providing us modules number 26 and 27 for our subject, Senior High School Earth and Life Science. Ang title ko ng modules, no? just in case you have the copy, Organ Systems of Representative Animals. So we'll be highlighting the different body systems of us humans. And of course, titignan din natin ang mga body systems ng uh, iba pang representative animals. And don't forget to please share our live stream. And please be respectful with your comments. I think, ayan na, marami nang nagpapaulan. Yes, Mamaya magpa magka-attendance check ang inyong Shooter Jules. Alright, and don't forget to please like our and follow our uh, Facebook page. It's Itula ELS with Shooter Tony and Shooter Jules. Send us some love, like, and share our Facebook page. And let's proceed, Shooter Jules. Take it away. Congratulations sa ating mga hashtag mahusay na mga partners. Thank you po uh, to our ELS partner schools from Luzon, Visayas, to Mindanao. Marami po yun, sir. Marami, marami, marami pong salamat sa inyong patuloy na pag-suporta. And sa aming sila, mga... present, mm -hmm. ang nasa Mindanao, nandyan. Okay, and our ELS partner teachers, thank you so much po, ma'am and sir. Mga ma'am and sir, marami pong salamat sa patuloy na pagsama po sa amin ni Tutor Jules. And Ayan, of course, and, our... Nandito ang mga estudyante ni Sir Enguero. 
And Uh-oh. our ELS Students of the Week goes to Jamie Cabasal of Grade 11 Helium Denier from Daniel or Aguinaldo National High School, Davao City, under Ma'am Genevieve M. Pepito. And Elizabeth yeah. A. Frias of Grade 11 Humes, Kaibiga High School, Caloacan City. All right. So good afternoon po sa mga teachers. No, ang dami na. na, na present na sila present dito sa na comment sila. box natin. Also, <laughs> and Johanna Del Rosario, uh, grade 11, STEM, Sapphire, from Jones Rural School, Isabella, under Ma'am I.B. Pfizer Gabehan, my representative, bawat teachers. Oo Sir <laughs> Colleen M. Pabre- Pabregas, of grade 11, Humes D, Pinagkawitan Integrated High School, Ma'am Sherilyn J. Lat. Yeah, and so si Ma'am Shing, she's watching right now. Good afternoon po sa inyo. Marami pong salamat. So for our, our quick review, Tutor Jules, no? so last time uh, we have discussed uh, genetic engineering and primarily, no, itong unang left na sa left side, we talk about the, the earliest forms na may tuturing kung na nag-fave the way sa mas modern na mga techniques. So we discussed with them artificial selection or selective breeding. We also have hybridization and inbreeding. Sa mga modern techniques naman, we have discussed uh, cloning, gene splicing, gel electrophoresis, and recombinant DNA technology. And uh, Tutor Jules, you also discussed this one. Yes, we discussed also the the benefits, the advantages Mm -hmm. and disadvantages of genetically modified organisms. All right. And for this week, Tutor Jules, take it away. Ano ba mga target natin, learning targets for this Ayan. afternoon? Kaya nga sabi natin kanina, jumpa kasi two Oo, milks, okay? <laughs> Objectives for the session uh-huh. from, based from the milks. Mm-hmm. Describe the general and unique characteristics of the different organ system in representative animals. And then analyze and appreciate the functional relationships of the different organ system in ensuring animal survival. Survival. Alright. So, we better get started kasi marami-rami itong mga uh, organ systems na ito. Tapos magpabisitahin din natin yung mga organ systems ng representative okay. animals. We will And talk about para it. mas, ano pa, ma, ma-refresh ang kanilang mind, Tutor Jules, ano bang gagawin nila dito? Review natin yung cellular organization. Mm-hmm. So identify, based from the description and picture, identify the term for that particular uh, picture or description. So number right. one, oh, pwede nang sagutan yan mga anak. Yes. For number one, it is the basic unit of life. Okay, so pakisagutan na pa, one to five, nandiyan na yung description. O oh, sige, kung hindi po gaanong nababasa, uh, let me read. For number two, a large group of cells that all have the same purpose or function. Number three, a group of tissues that work together to do a certain job for the body. And for number four, a group of organs that contribute to specific function to the body. And for number five, a living system that functions as an individual entity. Yan, may sagot okay. na sir. Number one, si Kalalang <laughs> Sen. Yes, number uh, one, Sen. Hindi na ako nakapag-check ng attendance. And Uh-oh. then number two po, oh, puro sel naman sila. So sa attendance, flex ko lang. From Aurora Senior High School, yan, si Sir Leo, nandyan sila. And oh. from Division of Leyte, uh, Sir Rafael, nandito po mga sir student Raph, ninyo. Good afternoon. And Daniel Araginaldo, galing ng Mindanao. Hello po. Yan. And then, Jen. for number two po. So we for have number two, tissue. Yes, tissue. you are right. Acuna, Paliso. Yan. Tissue. Chan. Chan. Rodaje. Okay. And number three, nandiyan na sir. Number three is organ. Organ. So okay. may mga nakita na akong tamang sagot. Yes po. Si Abayon. And then, tissue pa rin yung iba. Pero nauna si Abayon. And then number mm-hmm. four na tayo. Meron na bang number four? Mm-hmm. A group okay. of organs. Ay, nandito na sila. Welcome po. Ah, uh, Hello po from, asa na ba yun? Nasa na yun? Um... Regine Azarcon of 11 Humes, Pasay City East High School, Hi, yes. Sir Jude. Bagong, ano, Sir, oh, oh, bago nating partner, Sir hello Jude Pilyora. Hello, Sir. Welcome po. Ayan, dyan ang mga taga-Pasay. Ayan. So, number four na po tayo. So, for number four. So, number three, organs. Si Pansika. Okay, alright. Mm-hmm. Gilas. Ayan, tama lahat. So, number four, sa inyo comments ako. May mga nakasakot na for number four? Organ system. Organ system. Uh, Milar. Or system. You're right. And finally, right. sa ating last item. And the item. last one. 
for the last item, it's... Ayun, maraming taga, ano, taga Pasay nagka-comment. Mm -hmm. And the last, ayun, taga-pasay ulit. O, oh, sunod-sunod. Ah, kasi nga bago, masi masipag pang mag sa attendance. Ah. <laughs> masipag pang mag-comment sa attendance. Okay, for number five, We organism. Have... Paliso, yeah, organism. from Paliso. Siya na yung nauna. Yan, organism. All right. Congratulations. Hashtag mahusay. So, from cell, uh, maging tissue, organ, organ system, and then magbubuo yan ng, of course, an, indiv an individual uh, functional entity called a uh, living organism. So, yan ang review natin for the cellular organization. And another, uh, let's start with ano, activity, activity one. This is one found Medyo. on module 26. Medyo mapapalaban kayo mga anak. Marami tayong sasagutan uh -oh. ngayon. Kasi parang recall din ito uh, nung grade 5, grade 4, and then high school. So, so name the kind nila. of organ system illustrated. Just your answer in the box below. So meron dyan muscular system, skeletal, endocrine, respiratory, nervous system, immune system, digestive system, circulatory, at saka urinary. For number 1, uh, the integral parts are heart. Tapos, meron siyang mga uh, blood vessels. Okay? Yes. You can identify now the, ano, the uh, system. Meron na ba? Mm -hmm. so, For number two naman, Tutor Juice, while waiting, no? so we have the, uh, the, uh, brain, the brain and the, and the spinal the, cord and the nerves. Yes. Okay, check mo ako sa Malinta, Senior High School. Nandyan, mga student ni Sir Enguero. Thank you, Sir. And then from Jones Rural School, nandiyan. And meron na, circulatory system, s All right, number one is yeah, circulatory no, system. Espios. Sunod si Bautista, tapos Baloloy. And then number two, ayun, nauna na, na-present na, na natin. Skeletal uh, system doon sa so number system? two. Anak, hindi siya skeletal. Hindi, skeletal, <laughs> na, baka malabo ba? Uh, yung puno namin kanina, kasi nga hindi siya colored, ano? Yung sabi yeah, namin kanina, natin. eh... Yeah, uh, we have the brain, brain and the spinal cord, cord and the, the nerves. nervous system. Ayun yung mga sumunod. You are correct. Salonga, Dado, Badoloy. Okay. All right. Sige po tayo sa number three and four. Three and four. So number three, uh, the vital part. Part, ano ba yung nandyan? Yung main component, uh, yung lungs. Okay. The lungs. The main uh, organ, of course, for us to breathe. And on the right side naman is a picture or diagram of our Kahit muscles. Kahit hindi na sabihin. <laughs> Kahit hindi na sabihin, nandun na eh, no? Uh -uh. Okay, for number three, respiratory system. Okay, All right. right. So we have Sheila. respiratory system. You're and number right, four, uh -oh. we have so the muscular, four, muscular system. system. Right. Na so habol na lang ha. So ano, okay. medyo may konting ano lang, lag for your responses. Pero okay. makikita Pero naman makikita. namin Tutor Jules yan. For items 5 and 6. Okay, in number 5, meron siyang mga lymph nodes. Yan. Nodes. And Pangano then the, uh, the vessel, the lymph vessels sa so lymph nodes. Uh, uh, for so, number six, ayan, hashtag food is life. <laughs> kailangan na kailangan natin yan. Si Kathleen De Castro, muscular. Para ma-process ang nutrients, ma-absorb natin ang nutrients from the food that we eat. So what's number five and number six? So sa so number four, number four pa rin sila sir. Lahat mm -hmm. naka-muscular. And then... Habol na lang yung mga hashtag mahusay natin mga students. Okay. Lahat talaga sasagutan na ano, na, oh, yun. Pinagsabay-sabay na niya. Ah, meron na po. It's All immune right. system by Mish Luis Villegas. And then number six, alam na agad. Hindi okay. pa po pa sinasabi. So, digestive system. Digestive alam system. Na agad, <laughs> hindi na ako nag-describe. <laughs> For okay, number seven, na, seven, chika eight. Alam na alam na nila so, yan. Natin. So ito siya, oh. Ayan, right. so, so number 7 the, naman, uh, the skeleton. bones, or number 8, mga... ayan, so, ayan. Ba natin, so number ayan. 8, nandun yung... The one that filters our blood, ayan, anong so, organs yan? Responsible for filtering our blood, ayun ba, sorry, na, na plus kayo number 7, o kami sagutan din <laughs> no, si Samantha? Nasagutan na, yes, uh, si Pangilinan si din sir. Yes, uh -oh. pati din si Pangilinan. Yes, skeletal Congratulations. system. Congratulations. Right? At least, no, na-refresh okay. na sila. Number uh -oh. eight is, of course, our urinary system. Pwede And for agad. our final uh, system, ayan, urinary can you identify? Urinary system, you are right. 
medyo ano nga lang siya. It's a network of system, mga glands ito, na nagsesecrete ng mga hormones. Very important for our growth and the functioning, proper functioning of our uh, different systems, of course. You're yeah. right, so, Napoles. Very good. Sa number nine, ano bang meron dyan? Nandiyan and other yung organs. Brain, the parathyroid and thyroid glands. Nandiyan okay, may sagot na sila. <laughs> yes. So, Samantha is correct. Endocrine system. All right, so that is our okay. endocrine system. Okay, so at least na refresh na sila tutor Jules no, para at yes, least hindi sila mabigla sa ating ano uh, discussion. So I think we are now ready to start. Ayan, simulan natin sa first mga ELS, which is our digestive system. So I have mentioned earlier no, sabi nga natin hashtag food is life, kasi uh, very important na manourish yung mga living organisms no, with, with the process called digestion. The process of taking in the nutrients from the food source. And it has, if you would remember, it has four main stages. Namely, the ingestion, yung pag, uh, pag engulf or pagkain natin. Digestion, and then absorption of nutrients. And then finally, elimination na undigested food. Or the term is ingestion. All right? On the right side, we have the digestive system of our uh, of our body the human digestive system so digestion starts with the mouth try na natin zoom ayan so digestion starts in the mouth and the food will be pushed down to esophagus bababayan ng stomach where it will be partially digested ayan sa stomach in j shape the bag partial digestion and then the final digestion and the absorption of nutrients happens in our small intestines tapos yung mga undigested food uh, it will be stored, tapos uh, i-reabsorb yung mga uh, kailangan na water na may, may recycle sa ating katawan by the large intestine or the colon. And then kapag ready na siya for uh, defecation or for removal ng ating feces, so pupunta na yan sa rectum at saka sa, sa anus. So we have the mouth and the anus as the ano, uh, openings. no. So we have what we call the complete digestive system or the alimentary canal. The same with our uh, kamag-anak, no? no, mga mammals, just like this, uh, the rabbit. So they also have the, the same or similar uh, digestive system. Although, sa ibang animals, just like this jellyfish seen on your screen right now, or some representative animals also would be mga kamag-anak niya like sea anemone and corals, the entrance and exit of the food and waste is the same. Alright? Kung saan papasok, doon din lalabas yung food materials. Of course, ipaprocess mo na yung food materials, i-absorb mo na important nutrients bago ilabas yung undigested na food. So the same uh, opening lang din siya. Alright? So the same goes with uh, yun nga, other uh, organisms such as the sea anemone and uh, the coral. So ang tawag sa structure na yun is called the gastrovascular cavity. So in some references, you can also uh, you may also read the term ano, incomplete digestive system to refer to the gastrovascular cavity. So that is our digestive system. Ayan. So we also have a diagram right here showing how food enters and exits sa isang uh, sea anemone. I think this one is a sea anemone. No? So, ayan. so it has tentacles to capture its prey and then ipaprocess na yan sa loob and then ilalabas kapag... Uh, hindi na, I mean, uh, hindi na, na-process na yung pinaka-food particles and absorb na yung uh, kailangan na nutrients. Alright? Let's proceed. Uh, another ka-partner ng digestive system, Tutor Jules. Kasi, uh, digestion will be useless kung walang presence ng oxygen. So, kailangan natin mag-take in ng uh, certain uh, kinds of gases. So, for respiratory system, gas exchange is very important as they require oxygen in the production of the higher amount of energy. So, hindi yan convert into ATP kung walang, pro, uh, walang presence ng oxygen. Ayan. So, very important yan sa ating mga humans and of course, sa ating mga other animals. So, para mapapa-inhale at saka exhale ka sa ating <laughs> diagram. So, the air may enter sa ating nasal cavity and or pwede rin sa mouth. Minsan, kapag may sipon tayo, di ba, we can breathe through our mouth. Bababa yan sa trachea and then mag, uh, maghihiwalay yan sa a left and right bronchus. And of course, at the end of the, inside the lungs, mga alveoli, mga capillaries natin, that is where the exchange of oxygen na kailangan ng mga cells, tapos ipapalit naman yung carbon dioxide na kailangan ng mga ilabas or i-exhale. Alright? So that is our respiratory system. Let's take a look naman sa mga insects. Ayan, may tinatawag tayo na ano, tracheal system sa mga insects, mga ka-ELS. And this opens externally through the side of the insect through a structure called 
the spiracle. Ayan. So, air enters and exits through the spiracle. So, zoom lang natin ng mabilis. Ang pinakita ata dito would be a grasshopper. Ayan. So, that's part. Uh, special structures. Breathing structures ito ng mga insects, the spiracles. Alright? Ayan. And generally, uh, sa animal kingdom, we have what we call the closed and the open circulatory system. So, madali lang naman i-distinguish. Kapag sinabi natin close, mga kaila essence, close. The heart pumps blood through the vessels that are separate from the interstitial fluid of the body. Ibig sabihin, nasa blood vessel siya. And hiwalay siya sa tinatawag na Insters, uh, interstitial fluid. Yung fluid na between the blood vessels and the cells. Alright? And we also have, ito na, open. Pag sinabing open, uh, the blood or yung uh, term na ginagamit ng mga biologists is the hemolymph. It is not enclosed in the blood vessels. But it is pumped into a cavity called the hemocell. So wala na mga, ano, uh, mga vessels or mga tubes no na pagdadaluyan yung pinaka blood nila or yung tinatawag na hemolymph. So that's basically the difference, the closed and the open circulatory system. All right. Pag may tanong ha, you can ano pag ma-address ma natin yan kapag may time. All right? And is isa pa sa ka, ano rin, uh, kumbaga kadugtong ng naunang uh, two systems natin, the digestive at saka circulatory system would be our uh, respiratory system pa rin. Ang describe naman dito would be the uh, the mammalian respiratory system. So gases are transported via the bloodstream and are exchanged by a process called diffusion. Diffusion na oxygen at saka ng carbon dioxide gases. Ayan, pala, circulatory system pa rin for the fish, amphibian, and yung sa last na diagram dito would be for mammals, uh, a crocodile, which is a reptile, and sa mga birds, mga avian, ano natin, uh, vertebrates. As you can see, ayan, meron silang uh, capillaries, Lang capillaries as described right here. Of course, they have their heart. May iba-iba nga lang ano, structure no? at saka number of chambers. And to better understand that, ayan, compare din natin mga representative animals natin. So we have then a fish, a frog, a lizard, and a horse. All right. And it is said that amphibians has only one ventricle. If you would recall yung ventricle, yung mga pumping chambers natin that allows their blood from being mixed. The mixing of the blood doesn't have major implication on them because they have low metabolic rate. Thus, konti lang yung kailangan nila na energy. And they have the ability to respire. So meron pa silang means, no? So aside from their lungs, yung mga amphibians, they, have, they can breathe or also kapag nasa water sila, they can also breathe through their, uh, their skin. And thus not needing to fully oxygenate the blood through, our, through their lungs. Ayan. So tinutuhod dyan yung mga structures natin ng, uh, ng heart. The next body system, tutor jewels, mga ka uh, would be the urinary system. Okay? So, do not be confused, no? Kasi other references, they use the term excretory. From the word excrete or mag -e expel ng waste. Pag excretory, that is a general term. So, sa excretory, kasama yung urinary system na nagpo-produce ng urine. That's a waste. We also have the skin na nagpo-produce ng sweat. So, dumiri ng katawan yun. We also have the large intestine na nagpo-produce ng uh, feces, di ba? Yung as mentioned kanina sa part ng digestive system. Ayun. So those are some examples ng uh, components ng excretory. Pero ang focus natin would be the urinary system. Alright? To remove the excess salt or water in our, uh, in our body and it uh, follows certain processes or steps like filtration of the blood, reabsorption, secretion, and finally the excretion. Ang main organs natin dyan of course would be your left and right kidneys. You have the ureter, the urinary blade, urinary bladder, and the urethra. That's our excretory system. And hindi lang ka-function kung walang, ayan, very important uh, structures, structures called the, the nephrons. Ayan. So renal artery, unfiltered blood goes in inside the kidney. Ipaprocess yan if you filter. And then it will be filtered out via our renal vein. Ayan. So very important na alagaan, of course, bawat organ natin, no, tutor juice, specifically ito nga, uh, yung mga ano natin kidneys because uh, ayaw naman natin uh, humantong no na sa there will become a time na tayo ay maggagamit uh, pa ng uh, dialysis machine di ba so kailangan very important na i-hydrate ang sarili tapos iwasan din of course yung mga sobrang tatamis at sobrang aalat ng mga food let's take a look now at the different urinary system naman ng animals or representative animals for flatworms, ayan, so they also need to excrete mga nitrogenous wastes. No? So in flatworms, they have special structures, structures called 
the proto nephridia ayan all right and for ayan mga earthworms they have or mga annelids mga segmented worms natin they have structures called metanephridia para ma-remove nila ang kanilang certain waste na kailangan nila of course i-release outside their body for insects they have uh, tubes or tubules called the Malfagian tubules. It's named after an Italian sa- scientist who discovered it, si Marcello Malfagi. So yan yung uh, generally the structure ng mga insects para may remove nila ang kanilang mga waste. So again, that is Malfagian tubules in insects. Alright, for mammals like us and you, of course, the humans, meron nga tayong uh, kidneys. Ayan. So inside our kidneys are, co- of course, uh, millions of filtering units called nephrons. All right. So that's very important, no? So urinary system for excretion of waste. And then for this ni- next one, we have the immune system, jewels na very important para ma- madepensahan tayo sa invading microorganisms or viruses. Mantawag natin dyan would be pathogens. Or sometimes, of course, pinaprevent din yung pag-grow ng mga cancerous cells. So ayaw natin yan kasi uh, magaging imbalance, magkakaroon na imbalance sa ating katawan. And let me just share this, no? Uh, I'm sure narinig nyo na to sa mga infomercials. So refresh lang natin ang yung minds. So we have the three lines of defenses. The first one is the first line, yung skin, tsaka mucous membranes natin. That is our uh, physical and chemical barrier. So external, panlabas. The second line, ito ang galing ni God, di ba? So, dinesign niya ang ating katawan to have these defenses. So, for the second line of defense, kasama dyan yung mga immune cells at proteins. So, that is our internal defense. And we can also develop our third line of defense. Ayan ang tinatawag natin na specific at saka acquired immunity via the actions of the lymphocytes and antibodies. Kaya nga, very important na magpa-vaccine, di ba, minsan. Ayan. So, para at least uh, protected tayo sa different kinds of ailments or diseases. All right, so that's the first half of our body systems. I think Tutor Jules is now ready to discuss the rest of the systems. Tutor Jules? Okay, so next is the endocrine system. So when we say endocrine system, um, the, the it maintains the homeostasis, the internal balance, kagaya ng nabanggit natin sa unifying teams noon. Then it regulates hormone. Noon. Diyan yung definition ng hormone. It regulates the hormone and yes. it regulates the chemical messages uh, throughout the body. So the hormones are substances which can cause reaction to the cell. So yun yung yung dahilan kung bakit ganun yung reaction mo. Let's say, napahiya ka, di ba? Normally, uh, anong mangyayari sa mukha mo? Nagre-red? Or pag nagulat ka, lumalaki yung mata, right? And then, ano ba yung part dito? Yung pituitary gland, which is located at the base of the, ano? At the base of the brain. The brain, the yeah, master yan yung gland. Nagko-control. Oo, yan yung nagko-control sa ibang uh, function ng other gland. Yung adrenal gland dati, nagre-release siya ng adrenaline hormone. Na normally, yes. yung adrenaline hormone helps your body react more rapidly. Sa mga uh, stressful moments, saka emergencies, di ba, Shooter Jules? Yes. Yung adrenaline so, yung isang kaban. Oo, oh, yung isang kaban. Bilang. Kaya mong buhatin dahil oh, sa pagmamadali. Oo, kapag may fire or emergency. Oo. We also have kasi the, the uh, instinct na tawag na flight or fight. So, pwede tayong mag-escape or we we ano we fight with within sa given situation natin of course other animals they have also their uh, respective endocrine systems ayan so highlight lang natin tong dalawa pang, yes. uh, the growth hormone is produced by the pituitary gland yan yung growth hormone diyan ay ang ano diyan is long term the effect of the hormone is long term growth and development of the body are example of slow and long term do naman sa rapid ter- term, the circadian rhythm, which is responsible yes. for the sleep and wake cycle. Di ba mayroong body clock tayo, sir? May body clock uh-huh. tayo. Uh-huh. As long as na ano, regular yung, ano mo, yung activities mo, hindi gano'n nagsa-cellphone, eh, antokin ka talaga yung oras ng uh-huh. ipod. The normal. Then, uh-huh. the normal uh-huh. Tapos magigising ka rin agad. Uh, mga normal yun, nasa 6 yan. May body clock tayo. Pero kapag so, minsan na, hindi na normal, yun po, <laughs> eh, may ibang ano yun. Uh, oh. So, alagaan ang mga organs natin, no? matulog, get enough rest and sleep. Ayan. So, bawit ng ano, tulog at pahinga. Kailangan na kailangan ng katawan natin. Next po. 
Okay, next is the nervous system. Ayan, yung nervous system natin divided into two. The central nervous system composed of the brain and the spinal cord. Tapos yung peripheral nervous system naman natin composed of corresponding structure of the, two, uh, of the organs of nervous system. Ngayon, in that part, um, the, the brain or the central nervous system process the ano the information or the data gathered by the peripheral nervous system. Ayun, mamaya may illustration kung paano tina-transmit yung mga data from the peripheral to to the brain or to the mm -hmm. nervous system, central nervous In system. In the screen And, right now is uh, mga ano po ito, tutor Jules, no, mga nervous system na mga representative animals natin. Yes, natin. yung nasa una, those are the o, lower yeah. lower animals ano. Uh, lower form of hydra. animals. Yes, hydra, may mga animals. nerve network sila for sea stars. Walang brain, sir. Ha? Walang brain. <laughs> uh, walang brain. Mga nerves lang. Since, uh, ano nga, mga lower forms of animals sila. So, for sea star naman po, they have the nerve rings and radial nerves. Ang flatworm, na kilalang kilala na natin before we discussed asexual reproduction, they also have mga nerve cords naman and ito may simple brain na sila called the central Ayan. ganglia. Ako sa mga insects naman, oh, they also have tutor jewels. May meron silang brain, meron na rin silang brain. Yes, oh, central and segmental, segmental ganglia. ganglia. And ito tutor jewels, nakakita ka naman ito. <laughs> Octopus. Oo, oh, isa sa mga Ayan. pinakamatalino, matalinong uh, animals animal kingdom. They have highly Uh, evolved and developed na brain, di ba? So, aside from Ayan, their ability na makapag-comouflage, according sa mga scientists, no, isa to sa mga pinakamagagaling, matatalinong uh, animals in the animal kingdom. And finally, again, sila. Oh, oh. Uh, and the then we have the humans to represent Ayan, the central and the peripheral nervous system. And others, ayan, as seen on your screen right now, ayan, They have different... So, uh, frog din, may brain na. May brain and nerves. Squid, uh -oh. meron na. Dun so it varies sa, talaga. Depende sa case. complexity ng isang living organism. Ayan. The system okay. has evolved in increasing complexity throughout the different group of animals. So yung sinasabi ni Tutor Jules, Ayan. no? Ayan. Yung, uh -oh. ano, flop, the information. Uh, animation. Ayan. Kung paano nagkatransmit ang ating uh, the messages. Kung paano na de-deliver yan. And, From ayan. peripheral to central nervous system. And next, kailangan pa bang i-explain to? Kaya itang kita na. Uh -oh. Provides movement, maintains <laughs> muscle, and produces it. Ang ano lang dito, emphasize lang natin, yung tatlo, no? There are three types of muscles. Uh, yung mga muscles pala dyan, ang natatandaan ko na lang yata, sir, yung biceps, triceps. Biceps, triceps, netrapezius eh. muscles. Yun, eh. oh, ang dami niyan, Tutor Juice, kasi <laughs> nasa 600 to 650 identified muscles yan based on anatomy natin. So, ganun siya kadami. <laughs> so, sa animals, Ayan. ganun din. Yan, oh, din sa animals. Meron din siyang mga... biceps. So, oh, may triceps uh -oh. din sa baba. May so, we are showing the baba. muscular system of cats kasi Tutor Jules, isa sa mga pinaka-flexible na animal ang pusa, di ba? Kaminsan, inahagis yan sa mataas. Tapos, pag land nila, talagang nakaan sila sa ano, by their, uh, by their four feet, no? Very flexible ang kanilang katawan. All right, and of course, let's record yeah, then know that we tatlo. have types of muscles, Tutor Jules. Muscles, yung cardiac muscle cell natin na nasa heart. Heart. And then the skeletal muscle cell natin na naka-attach sa ating mga bone. Mm -hmm. And then the smooth muscle cell na saan ba yan? Nasa pancreas, sa stomach. Nasa mga, apo, nasa mga internal organs natin. Yan. Tawag doon ay smooth types. muscle cell. Cardiac, skeletal, and smooth muscles. And... The skeletal system, yan, consists of uh, bones and ano ba yan, joints. It provides support, protection, and attachment points for the muscle and provides rigid framework for movement. O, kitang-kita. Siyempre, pag wala ka niyan, hindi ka makakatayo. Wala Same also ano. with the other. <laughs> framework. <laughs> and tutor Jules, no, it also produces mga blood cells natin, red, white, at saka mga platelets. And it stores important minerals needed by our body. Tapos differentiate lang natin tutor Jules, e exoskeleton tsaka endoskeleton. So ano uh, bang difference kayo nung dalawa? Based from the etymology, uh, history of, the, uh, of the, ano, the word exos, ano bang ibig sabihin ng exos? Outside. Outside. Ay outer. A small shell is an example of an exoskeleton. And then yung isa naman is 
endoskeleton. Endoskeleton. Yung endoskeleton yeah, internal, naman, skeleton. yan. Internal. Exoskeleton. And then, ano pa ba? Um, made up of Kasama cartilage. Yung human ano. body, meron din tayong cartilage. Oo, oh, cartilage. Yung, mga, ano, parang yung, soft bones yung tinatawag. Yeah, dito we also have a cartilage. A fair muscle din naman. Bones. From the other reference, uh, they, uh, they describe it as a fair muscle. But more okay. flexible than than bone. Mm-hmm. Tapos yeah, flex natin to, Shooter Jules. Yes. <laughs> Isa sa mga kinakatakutang animal. Alam nyo ba na ganito ang skeletal system ng ano, ng shark, ng mga sharks generally. So they don't, they really don't have that strong uh, bones talaga, yung talagang rigid. no So they, most of their body is made up of cartilage. Kaya nga classified sila sa taxonomy as mga cartilaginous fish. Ayan. So ganyan ang skeletal system ng mga, mga sharks. All right? And second to the last, Tutor Jules? The integumentary system. Uh, yan ay binubo ng ating hair, uh, skin, the tsaka skin, yung uh, ating uh, nails. The nails. Fingernails and toenails. Protects against injury, protection, and fluid loss. Ayan, the normal skin layers. Ayan, it's mga normal skin, the epidermis, dermis, and the other important structures ng ating skin. And singit lang natin, although wala siya sa module, no? So part pa rin, of course, kasama pa rin ng, sa system natin would be the reproductive system. The male and the female reproductive system responsible naman for the production of our sex cells, the sperm cell for the males, and the egg cells for the females. And they also produce important hormones like testosterone and estrogen. Ayan. Needed for uh, reproductive production. Yeah. So that is your reproductive system. So I hope... Eto na. Mm-hmm. Uh, activity na tayo, mga anak. Um, module 27 on page 8. Complete the table below by listing the body. Systems that interact together for each scenario described. So, dalawa. Dalawang system ang involved, no? So we have to analyze based from the given. So number one, lung supply oxygen carried by the blood to cells of the body. So ano yung involved na system dito? So identify mm-hmm. yung dalawang... So just identify. Uh, so my lungs, that's part of your uh, respiratory, ano? di ba? Oh, sir, ikaw na sumasagot ah. Tapos, <laughs> bigyan natin sila ng clues sa first one para oh, at least tuloy-tuloy na sila sa mga Meron na po, meron na po. Uh, Sige nga. From Alea, respiratory and circulatory. From right. Salunga, Warren, dalawa, ha, respiratory. Dalawa. Cassandra, respiratory lang oy. Pero si Warren, uh, respiratory at saka circulatory. Di ba pwede okay. naman, ano, kahit magkabalitan. Naman. <laughs> okay, Mahusay. yung iba-isa lang. Natin. Dalawa uh-huh. anak, dalawa dapat. Respiratory so, and circulatory kay Estera. So, Rona, Jen, Mira, Estera. Okay. Alright. Very good. So, so number two na tayo mga ng, anak. Uh-oh. Respiratory at circulatory. How about the second one? Nutrients pass into the circulatory system to be carried to our body cells. So, you have the clue words. Ayan. Pag nag-answer tayo ng identification sa mga multiple types of question, look for keywords okay. para at least may clue kayo doon sa particular ano, answer. Okay. According to Sir Colleen uh, Fabregas, digestive okay. and parang uh, one of your, one of the best one, no? or uh, student of the week siya, no? Ayan. So Tapos she's correct. Siya. The others okay. are also correct. no? So we have digestive a uh, digestive system working together with the circulatory system. No, cir- circulatory kasi to juice ang haba since all throughout the body no. So when medyo ano siya, marami siyang katandem na other systems kasi nga nagta-transport siya ng nutrients, ng waste at saka ng mga important hormones and other substances. Okay. Mga anak number 3 na tayo ha. Kidneys. Let's go. Waste from blood. Number 3 na tayo. Siyempre, tama pa rin naman yung mga last na sumagot, digestive. Mm-hmm. Oh. Medyo, we understand na medyo naglalag lang sa inyo yung broadcast natin. Pero we appreciate Ayan. your participation. For number three, kidneys remove waste from the blood. Ayan. So, kidney is part of what system? Tapos, of course, involved pa rin dyan ng blood kasi pinifilter ng blood. So, blood is part of your what system? Number four, movement of the diaphragm. Diaphragm is the muscle na sa lower lungs. Uh, number three, day. according to ano? Uh, Sir okay, Rainier is three. answering. <laughs> Hi, Sir <laughs> Rainier. Sir Rainier. <laughs> Hello po, Sir Lods. Uh, uh, sa number sa three, oh, oh, Aaron Carulia. Member kaya ako sa group ni Sir. 
Ang uh, daming group ni Sir niyan. Idol yan. Uh, Idolizer, Aurora, good afternoon. Carulia, tsaka si Malin Armadilla. Yan. Urinary right. and circulatory. Urinary. Okay. Lahat na sila. Si Samantha Padayaw. Si uh, si Corpus. Palisa. Okay. Urinary and circulatory. Number four. Movement Number of the four diaphragm. Number four na tayo. Movement of the diaphragm. So that's a muscle, di ba? Diaphragm is a muscle. Uy, meron na rin, sir. Respiratory rin. and circulatory, <laughs> according to Carino. Ayan. Okay. So you are right. Respiratory oh, and okay. muscular system. So habol lang, habol, habol mga ka Circulatory yung sagot niya. Muscular yun, anak. Bakit nga ba? Movement of the diaphragm. Yung movement oh, of the diaphragm. Diaphragm is a muscle kasi. Uh, oh. That's breathing. So it involves the respiratory organs. Kaya respiratory and muscular. Muscular. So five and six. Ang tama si Pabrega, si Pabregas ang correct, respiratory and muscular. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number five tayo, production of the blood cells in the bone marrow, mga anak. Mm -hmm. Number five. Number six so, naman, na daily ako. movement and coordination. So anong dalawang system ang nagko-coordinate, nagko-control na yan? Actually, Tutor Jules, no, this body systems uh, work uh, 24-7 kasi kailangan nilang mag-function. So, ganun tayo kalab ni Lord. Dinevise na yan, in-engineer na yung katawan in such a way na magtutulong-tulong yung mga system. Sige. All we have to do is to uh, be responsible, alagaan ang ating katawan para mag-function siya ng maayos as we age, di ba? As we grow. Flex ko lang, hindi ko ito na nabanggit ka na. Oh, oh, oh. Flex ko Ayun. lang po itong ano, yung isang school na hindi ko nabanggit kanina. At Ay, sige po. Nanghingi ng, nanghingi ng link. link. Si Sir Apo. Jerwin A. Gutierrez. Hi, Sir Jerwin. Franceline uh, EJ. Okay, ng grade oh. 11 AABM. Okay, hello mm -hmm. Sir. So number five, then, marami so na katama. Immune and skeletal. Okay. Immune and skeletal. The answers are coming. Good job, mga ka-ELS. Very good. Or, or Gino, Romsel, Joy, Gino, pa sa number immune six. and skeletal. Madali lang uh, yan. Angelo Faith, immune and skeletal. Sa number six na tayo, okay, tama na lahat yan. Number six, <laughs> daily movement at saka coordination. <laughs> number six, mga anak, nasa na? Puro immune and skeletal pa rin sila. Hello okay. din. Okay, meron na ako nakita from Zern Colleen pa rin. Muscular and nervous Ayun daw. Ayun na nga. Muscular mm -hmm. and nervous. Nervous. Oh, she is correct. Ayan. So, for number six, the correct answer is muscular and nervous system. Working together para makapag-move tayo at makoordinated ng ating mga actions. For number so, seven number and seven. eight. Pumping up the heart and blood. So, number seven. Pumping up <laughs> the heart. Alam na yan. So, may heart dyan. At saka, of course, ay na naman si blood. For number eight, ayan, chewing, swallowing, and movement of food through our digestive Traps. Ayan. So, Five ayun na yan. Pagsamahin ko, samahin nyo na po. For number boost. seven and eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waiting lang po tayo. Chewing and swallowing. Don't forget ha. Number Ipan six. Ipanagay item number. Uh, mahabang ano, muscular and nervous. Ang haba-haba sir mula <laughs> oh, mula gusto ko ng hanggang ngayon. Uh -huh. Oo. Oh, oh. Salamat, salamat. Ayun nga, number seven, respiratory and circulatory. Uh, muscular and circulatory, according to sir. Yeah, okay. She's, uh, he's correct. Uh, muscular and circulatory. Uh -huh. That's the correct answer. Okay, ganun Kasi din, nga, uh, guys. The heart Akin is yan. a cardiac muscle. Okay. About for number eight. Sige, eight habang tayo for number eight, mga ka-ELS. Okay, respiratory and circular. Eight, 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 eight. Okay. Bakit sa number 7 ang sagot nila ay respiratory? Pwede pang yung pumping of the heart respiratory mga anak? Hindi ah, sa circulatory yun. Mm -mm. The best answer ah, respiratory would be at saka ano, the muscular. Kasi nga, yung heart may muscle yan, di ba? Oh, the cardiac ayan, muscle. Sa number 8, number 8 na tayo. Number 8, ayan, may nakauna na rin. Si Zern Colleen, digestive and muscular. Good job. Nakailan na tong Colleen na to? Okay, very good. <laughs> Very Pabregas. Di ba? Si Pabregas yun. Uh, Kulin Pabregas. Siya yes, na. Uh -oh. Okay. Si Balugar din. Two items okay. for our task this afternoon. Number nine, pulmonary vein brings blood from the, lang from the lungs back to back our to heart. heart. And number parang, ten, muscles in the leg. Parang matatandaan ko yan. Kinanda ng estudyante ko nung grade na yun eh. Tandang-tanda ah, okay. yung elementary, elementary science niya eh. And back to the heart. <laughs> Hello, number nine, number nine. Back to the heart. 
Yes. Muscles in the leg cause the tibia and the fibula bones. Ayan, nasa legs natin yan. To move upwards. Coordination ng what two systems? Number eight. May bone pa, pa dyan, muscles. Sinicole pa dayo, sir. Respiratory and circulatory. Tama ba? Respiratory and circulatory. Sabi ni Samantha. No. It's respiratory and muscular. Laging ano yun, sir, dito sa respiratory at saka circulatory. So mm -hmm. kapag nabanggit na itong heart, you have to consider the muscle in it. Uh -oh. Kaya, na, na, na ano eh, kapag hindi nila napansin. Medyo tricky uh, din. Oh, although, oh, yung oh, circulation agad eh, kaya circulatory yung sagot nila, sir. Eh. Uh -oh. uh, although given that kapag hawak nila yung module or yung mga learning tasks na bigay ng mga teachers nila, they have to consider the, the choices given pa rin. Yun. So, number 10, meron na rin tayong sagot. Courtesy of Zern Colleen, we have skeletal and muscular system. Good job, mga anak. So, you can still ano, make hubble of your answers <laughs> for this activity. Kinakompleto pa rin nila. Uh, uh, thank you so much. And announce na natin ang ating activity of the week. Ayan. So, hubble na lang no, since mag-Christmas break na nga tayo. So, ang sabi dito, you have probably heard of the saying, no man is an island. Tama nga naman yun. So, walang... Uh, mabubuhay tang mag-isa. So, mag, uh, sabi nga sa kanta, may pananagutan tayo sa bawat isa, di ba? So, this saying means that each person depends on others for many reasons. When you look at an object, what organ systems are making your action possible? Another task or another instruction for you is make a list of the organ systems involved when you eat. Ito, para ano to ah? Parang nakikita ko sa mga meme. <laughs> eat, sleep, <laughs> Iba pala, iba pala yun. <laughs> Eat, sleep, and run. So, mga different bodily activities. May naalala lang po kung bigla na meme. <laughs> Send your answers via our Facebook page. That's Itula ELS with Shooter Tony and Shooter Jules. Ayan. Bago mag- Ay, naku, sir. Please. Isang section din kaya yan. Ha? Sa ano? Uh -oh. Chinechikan ko. Isang uh -oh. section yan. Ang dami-dami nila. Uh -oh. oh, ito na mga anak from, <laughs> ano, from Pasay. Pasay is High School. Ito yung question of the week. Uh, screenshot na po ah, screenshot, screenshot and we're saying congratulations to our mahuay, mahusay answers of the week, Shooter Jules. Pa yes, pa mahusay answer of the week, uh, si Dayan Joy D. Madayag of grade 12 Pearl from Tumawini mm -hmm. Stand Alone Senior High School. Kasi hindi ko pala nalagyan ng stand alone last time. And okay. then from Anafunan, Tumawini Isabela. And according okay, to her, wait lang sir, ano nga ba yung ano, importante na sinabi niya? I believe that we as humans have responsibility to improve the world. Yun, mm -hmm. yung pinaka gist po. Para Miss Universe ah. <laughs> yes, tignan mo naman. Ang ganda-ganda niya. Future, ano nga tayo natin si ano, Diane Future, candidate natin to sa Miss Universe. Baby, At ano, huwag ka, meron pang susunod. Another miss no, natin. Miss pang Miss Universe natin. Miss Philippines. <laughs> si Johanna, <laughs> Johanna Del Rosario from... Rosario. Yes, ang ganda rin niya. Grade 11 STEM Sopard from Jones Rural School, SDO Isabela, under Ma'am Ivy Pfizer Gabehan. Proud na proud ang mga teacher nila, no? And according to Johanna, creating or altering genes of an organism is not a form of blasphemy to the creator or God. If it is done for the betterment or benefit of yes, human. Yes, yun naman talaga. Yeah. Oh, for the betterment. Doon tayo sa ano, favorable ano, uh, benefits niya. We also have Zess okay. Anne uh, According to Zess Anne E. Karagyan, isa lang pang Miss Philippines. Um, <laughs> ang sabi niya, nasa na ba yun? Um, it's not blasphemy against God. We are doing it for a good purpose or for the glory of God. Yeah. Yun, tama Amen. yun. Amen tayo dyan, says Anne. Oh. Or all for the glory of God. And then At we also have two answers Ayan. from two gentlemen right here. Yes, Ayan, ang itili mga Grady Amir Andres. At saka si Mark Junriel Napoles. Thank you for always participating. We will be posting the screenshots of your answers na lang in our Itulay Facebook yes. page. And once again, maraming maraming Ayan. salamat sa patuloy na pag-support. Pag-answer, kahit medyo nahihirapan <laughs> si Tutor <laughs> Jules sa pag-identify. But of course, ayan, kailangan kasing ganun para at least ma- 
ma-highlight or ma-present natin yung pinaka the best answer. And you aim for at excellence. Saka, sir, oh, oh, at saka may nagre-request, ma'am, kailan po, po ba ako ma-feature? Kasi nakailang sagot na po. Anak, uh, dagdagan mo naman, tignan mo itong mga sagot nila. So, uh, paano ko ba hihindihan itong mga batang to, diba? Send to us the, the, best, uh, the best answer. Ayan, yes. convince you. Dagdagan mo, anak, hindi ito to three sentences. Uh, dagdagan mo pa. Uh, uh, challenge yourself. Ayan, challenge yourself. You can And improve. then prepare na yung pinaka best picture nyo na ipiflex namin dito. Ito, ha? Uh, 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 uh. So that ends our session for this afternoon, Tutor Jules. Uh, don't forget to support the rest of our hashtag Team Mahusay for Senior High School Science and Technology subjects for this semester. That's 3.40 to 5.20 p.m. And don't forget to send us your feedback, scan the QR code, and proceed to tinyurl.com slash feedback for. Once again, thank you so much. Ayan, enjoy the the holidays, Ika nga, Tutor Jules. No, ayan. So early, By the ano, way, sir, ano, greetings. Um, ma ano ko lang, maaralo ko lang si Ma'am Joanne Magallones na nagpapabati yes, last time. Kumusta daw Apo. or Hello, pabati mo sa ating mga students, sabi niya. Nakalimutan ko na rin kung anong school si Ma'am, pero natatandaan ko si Ma'am Ma Joanne Magallones. At kumawini po ata siya. Oh. Okay. Hello, Ma'am. Uh, 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 At sa mga students ni Ma'am. Uh, up next na po ang Media Information Literacy and General Biology 1. Once again, uh, enjoy the rest of your break this Christmas break. Pahinga ang uisip katawan. Ayan. Enjoy the time with your family, di ba, Shooter Jules? With your friends, kahit online lang. Ayan. Ingat-ingat pa rin kasi may mga, ano pa rin tayo, variants ng COVID-19. So we all have, we all pray na ano, uh, makabalik ka tayo sa normal. So once again, this is your Shooter Tony. Marami pong salamat sa pagsama, pagsama sa amin ni Shooter Jules. I'm Shooter Jules from Kaibiga High School, Talakan City, saying bye-bye and happy bye -bye holidays. Bye-bye and God bless. Kita-kita sa January. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!